Hello there and welcome to Deuce TV News, I'm Chris and I'm Gary and here's your weekly roundup of what's going on in and around Dundee. Deuce's AGM was held this Tuesday where a number of motions were debated and voted on, such as the motion to ban the sun on campus as mentioned in last week's segment and the one to end any contracts with G4S. Deuce TV News was there. That these 153 members of staff are not living in poverty. <laughs> and I just asked you to read out the entire conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I want to support changes. I want to emphasise this is your union. And I want to see more of these figures, more numbers like this. Want to know what it's like being an artist's assistant? Linda Morris will be revealing all about her time working with artistic duo Gilbert and George at Cooper Gallery, Duncan of Jordanston College next Monday. Entry is free and the talk starts at half four. The University of Dundee has been awarded nearly £700,000 to support a drive in prostate cancer research at the university. Working alongside Prostate Cancer UK, the research plans to answer many of the key unanswered questions surrounding the disease, which is one of the most common types of cancer found in men. Dundee University and NHS Tayside have this week joined forces to help combat Hepatitis C in drug users, a disease which can lead to cirrhosis and in extreme cases, cancer. The scheme targets over 5,000 people in the Greater Dundee area who have developed the disease by sharing contaminated needles and hopes to provide a system whereby those infected are treated straight away to avoid it spreading. Has your society made an outstanding difference this year? Then be sure to nominate it for the 2013 Dusa Society Awards. Categories include Best Society Event, Best New Society and Society of the Year. All of the information is available on the Dusa website and nominations close on the 20th of March. This evening, the debating union will be hosting a debate regarding the upcoming DUSA executive election. The motion is, this house believes DUSA does not represent its members' interests and will be held on the fourth floor meeting rooms in DUSA at 7pm. Dundee University's men's rugby team stays top of the league for another week after beating Glenrothes 91-17 on Saturday. The win puts some clear distance between Dundee and the rest of the league and the lads will surely be delighted with this latest success. The university's second string netball side also had a great result over the weekend, beating Strathclyde 2's 52-30 and are now top of their league as well. Stephen Sweetlove, fifth dan in three martial arts, judo, taiho jutsu and aikido, is conducting two days of training in the art of self-defence this Saturday and Sunday. Stephen is the co-author of the Journal of the Unarmed Combat Sequences of the British Army and he has trained UK police trainers in arrest, restraints and unarmed combat techniques. The activities during the day include a lecture on the legal aspects of self-defence and you'll be able to have a go at techniques used by the police every day. Tickets cost £22.50 for the day and places are limited so book in advance. Check in the description box for details. Nominations for elections to the Sports Union's Executive closed on Friday, which means that campaigning will begin soon. There are going to be a lot of different candidates running for a lot of different positions and all will be eagerly campaigning for your vote. So keep an eye out on Facebook and on campus. If there's anything you'd like to appear in the next edition of the news, email us at info at That's, That's all for, for this week, Dundee. Dundee.